Hey guys, what's going on? Honest Abe checking back in with some March Madness action. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. And just like March Madness, we've had some crazy weather here in East Tennessee today. We've had some snow and some ice and some rain, a little bit of mix of everything. It's a lot of wind. It's been a cold day here in East Tennessee. Just kind of craziness of uh, mid-March. But uh, yeah, you know what? Basketball has been crazy too. And the NCAA tournament has been a wild one uh, this this year. Uh, you know, average seed left is a five in the NCAA tournament. And we got sweet 16 games coming at you guys tomorrow evening. And so I'm here to let you in on what's going to happen on these Sweet 16 games. And I'm going to give you guys my picks uh, for the game. So let's get right into it. Now, first game is going to come at you guys tomorrow, Thursday, at 7 p.m. It's Loyola Chicago versus Nevada, number 11 versus number 7 seed. And nobody expected these two teams to get as far as they did. Of course, Loyola, they beat my Tennessee Volunteers uh, the other night. In a heartbreaking fashion for us Vol fans, but you know what? Tennessee had a heck of a season, and I'm 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 overall pretty happy with how the season turned out. Even though I had them going to the Elite Eight, I'm I'm very proud of what the Tennessee Volunteers, what Rick Barnes and those guys have been doing over there at Tennessee this season. And of course, uh, you know Nevada has had two just crazy games coming back from two games double digits down the first game they were down 14 points second game they were down 22 points the other night and they both they've come back and fought their way back uh to to get victories in both and go to the sweet 16 for the first time i think since 1985 or something crazy like that but you know what uh, i think nevada is going to continue to ride that momentum of you know being down double digits and just fighting back hard, never giving up, never giving in. And they're going to ride that all the way to the Elite Eight. And so I got Nevada winning tomorrow. Now the nice thing is, is that three uh, out of the four games tomorrow, my winners going to the Elite Eight are still in it. So the next three games, my winners are still all in it, which is nice, of course. I didn't have Loyola or Nevada in there. But the next game is Texas A&M versus Michigan, number three. And you know what? Texas A&M has had a heck of a season. I didn't think they'd get out of the first round. They'd have some great games. And you know what? They are playing tough. They're playing strong. But those Michigan Wolverines, they are just too good this season. And I think the Blue are going to just roll over Texas A&M tomorrow. And I had Michigan going to the Elite Eight. And that game's coming at you guys tomorrow, Thursday at 7.30 Eastern Time. And then the next game is number nine, Kansas State versus number five, Kentucky. And you know what? Kentucky Wildcats, man, your freshmen are amazing and they're going to do great things in the NBA. Uh, but I tell you what, uh, you know, Kansas State has, has played very well. Uh, and, you know, I had Kentucky going to the lead eight, you know, and if Kentucky plays well, uh, if they play their game, they don't make freshman mistakes. Um, and, and they just play their hearts out like they have been doing, um, you know, the past three games all the way back to the SEC championship against Tennessee. I think Kentucky's going to advance, and, and, and they don't really have a whole lot of people standing in front of them other than Gonzaga at this point. Uh, so, yeah, I got Kentucky going, and I had them picked originally anyway going to the lead Eight. And that's at uh, 9.30 tomorrow, Thursday. The last game is Florida State versus Gonzaga and I had Gonzaga going to the Elite Eight and I expect them to just be able to uh, advance against Florida State. Florida State's had some good games as well uh, but uh, you know Gonzaga is just always surprising. Every year you know their first second round their games are close or whatnot or you don't know if they're going to pull it out or but they always manage to win. They always manage to surprise everybody and they end up making a deep run. I mean it's every single year and so I never count Gonzaga out in the NCAA tournament because man they fight hard they play hard and they manage to win they find a way to win every game and so I expect Gonzaga to beat Florida State tomorrow and that game comes at you guys tomorrow Thursday 10 p.m. Eastern time and I hope you guys enjoy that stay tuned tomorrow I'm going to be bringing you guys some of my Friday picks and everything uh, with the games that are going to be coming up.
But that's uh, that's my uh, Thursday round of Sweet 16 games for you. This is Honest Abe signing off. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later.